Welcome to another Tradeblazer episode, look at this absolute chad. Amulet of Torture, Obsidian Helmet, Region Bracelet, Abyss of Bludgeon. Yep, I'm going to grind Nightmare in this video and I really really do want to see a drop. I'm currently at 41 KC, doing 11 minute solos and uh, let's hope to see an item that is really useful. Would love to get some Inquisitor items, the crush bonus would make the kills even faster. And uh, that's all I really want to see. Hope you guys will enjoy the episode. First KC of the day, drop incoming, I believe, in uh, KC number 42. Send few serums, actually really good, I need those. Then I don't have to go and buy uh, those bombs. Sub 11 minutes, pretty nice. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, I got an Inquisitor helmet! Okay, I don't usually get this much of a reaction, but oh my god. Oh my god, that was such a good kill as well. 10.57. Holy sh- Okay. That's 8 crush bonus, 1 prayer, 1 melee strength. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. I honestly didn't expect it. That's what caught me so much off guard. Ho hopefully that wasn't too loud. I am so happy. Just before 50kc, Inquisitor helmet. Of course, we have to record for the back-to-back. -back. Nope. KZ number 50 though, been nice 50 KC. I still can't believe I got the Inquisitor's Great Helm, that is so awesome. So I'm actually out of Sanfew Serums, so I have to go and get some Realism's Balm. They're very easy to get, I just have to make one and then I can buy, but uh, let's see what I get for this kill. Blood Runes on uh, KC 53, but yeah, I have to go and get uh, more of those so I can kill the Parasites without uh, taking like 50 damage every time. So what you want to do if you're wondering is if you trade this guy, he will not sell you anything, but if you use a bomb on him, then uh, he will open a store and uh, here we go. I can now buy unlimited amount of them pretty much. If I do this and then go out, well, actually they don't restock instantly, I thought they would, but uh, 100 of these is more than I need really, and they do restock slowly. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the that? Vapen. Nice. Holy shit! What is the time of a solo with Inquisitor Mace and the helmet now with a more crush bonus and strength bonus? 1040. Wow, that is really fast actually. So nice. Now that I have two Inquisitor pieces, I actually want to just go and do some God Wars. I'm going to start off with Ciliana because there's not really any items I need here except maybe the Armadillo crossbow because my ranged weapon currently is a rune crossbow, so that would be pretty nice to get. But just in general, there's a lot of points to get here and I haven't grinded points in quite a while. I'm only at like 22k points. And uh, there is so many tasks I can get there, so let's just get into some Siliana. Because I don't have the 5 time spec relic and I have draining strikes instead, there is really no point of getting the Staff of the Dead, which is the melee method for Siliana, where you basically reduce her damage down to you by 50% and then you just spec her down with like a BGS or something, but I think that doing this with melee is still way better, even though I will have to use quite a lot of food. Because my melee gear is just way better than uh, everything else I have. I took so much damage with the Inquisitor gear and it's <laughs> probably not that good to use it. It has super low defense stats, I actually went with a more tanky setup and it was way easier. What I'm going to do to make it a bit easier on me with melee is... I'm going to get the Blood Amulet of Fury, so I unlocked Vampires as a task. It is 1 in 500 on the leagues to get the Blood Shard. It is also a 250 point task to equip or even make a Blood Amulet of Fury. So that's going to be very useful for Siliana. That actually took a while, but it was pretty much on the drop rate for the Blood Shard. It is 1 in 500 on the leagues and it took me roughly 400 kills to get it. But uh, yeah, time to get back to Siliana. I think you get 250 points as well for either equipping or making this. Yeah, 250 points for making it. Do I get any points for equipping it? Probably not. But yeah, that is the Blood Amulet of Fury. So some kills is like this that you will see in this clip. It goes extremely fast and because of the draining strikes and the Blood Amulet of Fury I basically do not have to use any Monkfish at all. I just stay full HP the whole time but it's very dependent on what my hits are. Some kills are just extremely excru excruciatingly painful. Like some, t some kills I have to spend like 
10 monkfish just to get it down because it just combo hits me all the time so it does drain a lot of food. First drop at 31 kc, <laughs> not very useful but uh, Saradomin's light, can I actually, oh, I could activate it in time before it cancel but yeah. Not very useful, no task or anything, but uh, a drop at least. God Sword Shard 3, uh, I'm not sure if that's the one I have already. I uh, can take a look at the bank after this. Let's see if it's a duplicate. It is not a duplicate, so that means I have two now. I have the number two and the number three, so I just need a one more. And then I can make the blade, but I have no hilt right now, so it doesn't matter too much. But I guess it's nice to have at least a blade. Now that is a duplicate. But uh, regardless, I'm going to save it to make more swords in the future. I primarily want the Bandos God Sword. I don't really think there's much of a use for the Saradomin God Sword with draining strikes because, for example, at Nightmare, I have unlimited HP and prayer anyways. I guess maybe at like TOB or something like that. Well, BGS is still better at that point, so I'm not sure what uh, I'm going to use the different God Swords for. A pretty common drop, Saradomin Sword on KC number 64, but I do think that's a task actually to equip it. Yeah, 250 points even. Not a lot later, 72 KC, and that is the last God Sword Shard. I'm only actually 70 smithing, you need 80 to make the God Sword Shard, but uh, I do have a lot of bars from killing like thousands of gargoyles, so getting 80 smithing is not going to be a big deal, but... Uh, yeah, first I need to get a hilt for it to be really worth making it. Probably have to expect a lot of these Saradomin swords. They are 78k Alex, so it's not bad at all, but they are like 1 in 39, 1 in 38, something like that. Another Saradomin's light. Uh, I guess I'll just save that. Actually, how much of an alk is that? I didn't see on the ground. Uh, 20k, yeah, I'll just save it in the bank. Maybe I can make a staff of light in the future. More alks, I guess. 150k every time is not too bad. I have a feeling that that's quite a lot rarer than the Armadale Crossbow at 122kc. By the way, I have received quite a few more Saradomin Swords. I'm up at 4 now, but I didn't want to get too repetitive and show each and every one of them. Been at this for a while now. I'm at 180kc and I started with like 900 Monkfish and I'm down at like 150. So even though I have a lot of self-healing from my Relics and my Blood Amulet of Fury, which by the way at this point has 6,000 charges left. I'm going to end at 200kc. I haven't got the armor to crossbow or the Saradomin's held. I have gained a total of, uh, let's have a look here, four Saradomin swords and three Saradomin's light. So uh, yeah, not that useful at this point of my account and I kind of want to get it back to the nightmare as soon as possible. Okay, well, uh, 189kc, Saradomin's Hilt. Now, as I said before, I don't really have that much use for it. I mean, I could make the God Sword with 80 smithing now that I have all the shards for some points. But uh, yeah, the Bandos God Sword is really the only God Sword with these perks that I have some use for. Saradomin KC number 200 is going to be a Rune Kai shield. I'm going to teleport out real quick and... Uh, Look at the amount of Raynor seeds I got. I got 30 Raynor seeds, 1 mil in just pure cash. Of course the Saradom is healed and overall actually pretty decent Alkyballs. A lot of rune skirts, rune kite shields and so on. So the drops in general are actually very good from Siliana. So it's not too bad of a boss to go dry on. So I did about 15 solos and I got nothing too specific. And then this guy joined randomly into my session and was like, yeah, let's duo. And then also... A friend of mine is coming for a trio, so I'm going to do a couple of trio kills, but first duo kill on KZ number 74. Some cannon tines, actually 75, that was a 6 minute duo. In trio should be like 4 minutes. That is uh, 25 million attack experience, just barely missed it, and I think that's actually, except maybe defense, all 25 million. So I've pretty much gotten most of them off uh, video, but I have 37 million hit points, 25 attack. 51 million strength and 18 million defense, so I still have that defense to get the points from. Oh my god! Holy shit, he got an harmonized orb! Oh my god, that is insane! Insane grads, dude! Wow, harmonized orb. You always have to look for the back-to-back, -back. let's see if we can get it. And we did not get one back-to-back, -back, but that is 83 kill count. Actually, the only clip of the Nightmare that I didn't have live recording of, but look what happened to the trio that just joined us. Inquisitor's Mace. Yeah, we now all have Inquisitor Mace to use on the boss, and it was the first kill he joined, he got it. 
So that is just so insanely cool to see. So I'm probably going to end at 100 KC and this is going to be KC number 90. So 10 more after this one. Cadentines and uh, yeah 10 more KC after this one. Hopefully we can get a drop. More and more people kept coming and we ended up doing five man and this is going to be the last kill I'm doing KC number 100 for some Cadentines and no drop on that as well but like three minute kills in a five man is insanely fast and uh, overall I'm pretty happy with having seen a lot of drops and getting the Inquisitor's Great Helm and the Maze. With 100 KC on the Nightmare having received for myself the Inquisitor's Great Helm, the Inquisitor Mace, and I only missed the body and the legs for the set bonus to get even more crush damage, making my damage absolutely insane at the Nightmare if I would get those. I am so happy with the results and having seen Harmonized Orb and another Inquisitor Mace is just really awesome because even if I don't get the drop it's very cool to see the actual drops and you know that you can get them sometime soon. It's really motivating but I'm going to end the video here. I do hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see when I post these videos in the future. You can also click any of the videos on the screen right now or playlist if you want to see more content right now. Have a good one guys. Take care.